It's time for another top five. Hey Power Director Peeps, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director love. You know, the Power Director love you're looking for from Power Director University. Today I'm going to bless you with the top five features in Power Director. Now, this is my top five, not your top five. So, if you have a list of top five features that you think are different or better than my list of top five features, leave those in the comment section below. And if you think there's just something I left off the list that you really like, leave that feature in the comment section below as well. Now that I got all of that out of the way, let's jump off into the Power Director top five features. Coming in at number five, we have Shadow Files. Power Director uses Shadow Files to help speed up the editing process on computers that have lower system specs. Shadow Files are actually lower resolution copies of the files that you place in your timeline. Power Director uses these Shadow Files when you're editing HD or 4K footage. When it's time to export your project, Power Director uses the original high quality files for the export, maintaining the high resolution for your final video. Although these files speed things up while editing, they might cause some issues as well. If you notice any funny business going on when you're editing HD or 4K footage, as long as your computer specs exceed the requirements for running PowerDirector, then you might want to turn shadow files off. Circling in at number four is 360 video editing. PowerDirector is chock full of 360 video editing tools for your next project. Video stabilization turns that jittery 360 footage into buttery smooth goodness. While motion tracking lets you follow objects through 360 space so you never miss a moment. You can also turn your videos into a world of their own with the new little planet feature. Or you can use the video designer to turn your 360 footage into multiple camera angles. With all of the focus that Cyberlink is putting on 360 video editing, Seems like this may be the way for the future. Making a grade at number three is color grading. PowerDirector is known for adding new functionality to each new version of the software. Over the years, the product has shifted toward adding multiple color grading tools and it's paid off in a big way. True Theater Color instantly optimizes hues and vibrancy to give your videos a true to life appearance. Color Match intelligently analyzes your video footage and adjusts lighting, saturation, and color variables to achieve a consistent look across an entire clip. Split Toning adds dramatic effects and unique color grades to your videos by applying colors to highlights and shadows of your videos. LUTs or lookup tables are a useful and quick method to achieve a particular look throughout a video. This arsenal of color grading tools should help you get the right look for just about any video. Bringing things all together at number two is program integration. PowerDirector has three sister programs that it plays with quite well. Audio Director, Photo Director, and Color Director. When you have PowerDirector and any of these three programs on the same system, with a few clicks of your mouse, you can switch back and forth between PowerDirector and any of the programs. This allows users to transition from PowerDirector, make audio, color, or photo corrections, and return to PowerDirector with the updated corrections applied to the timeline. Shifting between programs is so quick and seamless that it hardly feels like you're moving between programs at all. Cyberlink Director Suite 6 includes all four integrated programs for a round trip workflow. I'll leave a link to it in the video description below. Posing at the number one spot, we have vertical video. With the emergence of social media as well as live streaming, the phrase, the best camera you have is the one that's with you, has never been more true. And the camera that most people have with them nowadays is their smartphone. The increased shift to filming with smartphones, as well as the shift to filming in portrait mode, has made the exporting of vertical videos a must. PowerDirector has stepped up to the plate by creating a timeline mode which allows for editing 9x16 vertical videos. There's also a mode which allows for exporting 9x16 vertical videos sans letterboxing to YouTube and Facebook. 
All right, Power Director Peeps, that's my top five list. So what's yours? Leave your list in the comment section below. As usual, I want to thank you guys for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. And now I want to send a shout out to one of my subscribers, Ray Coniglia. Ray Coniglia makes machining and workshop videos on his YouTube channel. So if you're into machining or workshop stuff, head over to his channel, check out a couple of his videos. And if you're feeling what he's dealing, make sure that you subscribe. If you guys want to get a shout out like Ray Coniglia did, make sure that you go to our video description and fill out our shout out request form. If you have a tutorial you'd like us to make, head over to the video description and complete our tutorial request form. Now that I'm done with that, I got a few things I need you to do for me. The thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction, click on it. It lets people know that the content in this video is good and that they should watch it too. If you got any comments, questions, you just want to talk or chop it up with your boy, leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, smash that subscribe button. And after you do that, click on the bell. When you click on the bell, you receive notifications every time I upload content to YouTube, and that way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.